Brennan Elgin. And the home state man does not have any home state favor against Danny Moore. Watch back, Frank. No, and as we watch this back, you see Danny Boy kind of rear up right in there. Doesn't foul anything, just going to be a weird start, and then gets after it right here around the right. But when when he launches Eldred out of here, you watch him hit this steal right here. There is no give in those buck and shoots. Brennan already has been beat up not only last season, but started out this season with a few very scary injuries and wrecks. Hey. Strut and stuff. Can strut and do whatever he wants to do at Melanson is feeling every bit of that buck off. This, this is the power that Strut and Stuff brings. Long, big, big front end, and, and then you see that head-to-head, -head, head to helmet, thankfully. And Cole's slow, but, but then he also just shows you, and I think it's a word I... I probably use way too much, but tough does not begin to describe these guys. I mean, that's a shot from an 1,850-pound bull right there. And one was pretty nice bull, stayed low to the ground. Hey, hey! And slingshot it back to front, off the bull's head. Lodog puts the smack down on Romildo. Lodog had some moves today. See right here, it kind of hangs in one spot, rolls a little bit, fills for the rider, gets him down to the inside, and then you see him come right back into him. Kind of a funky move there, little bull and the big guy. Well, Romildo making his debut on the Premier Series, and would you call that a welcome to the Unleash the Beast moment? And just like that, 3.2 seconds is all it took for Yo Adrian to knock Wallace off of his bull back. Yeah, and, and I was talking about a bull needing to go into his hand. You see Yo Adrian around the end of the gate, kind of in a box and around to the left. And that is not the direction that obviously favors Wallace. I love how he's trying to keep his side on these bulls, but also talks about you've got to keep your back straight while doing it. Because if you don't, if you get a hump in your back, that's going to slide you off your bull rope and take the weed off uh, the weight off of your feet. It won't be. And the three-time Indian National Finals Rodeo Champ, Dakota Lewis of the Blackfeet Nation, falls short against Lester Gillis, the old campaigner, the great bucking bull. He's not able to get it done. And bull's been around a long time, and Dakota gets him started really good. But when he gets behind, watch his head come up. See his head come up right here? He's looking out this way. Lester's still coming left. You gotta keep your head down and stay in the fight, because even when things are not perfect, 